Welcome. The goal of this channel is to give you the most up-to-date Power BI information, be it best practices for building things or monthly updates. In this case, I routinely have a monthly update that follows along with every Power BI monthly update. This month, we're gonna have that update. It's gonna be a little bit different though. Typically, I have a workbook, I show you all the features. Well, this month, Power BI released the smallest update I think I've ever seen. Uh, really, there isn't any amazing features, but I'm still gonna give you what's in there. You can get this in a few minutes and be set. So what we're gonna do for this one is I'm going to actually uh, review the article, talk you through the, the contents of it, and you'll see. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I think what happened overall is they had uh, the Power BI uh, Fabcon last week, uh, last month. It took up a lot of their time, I'm guessing. But overall, uh, here's the updates that, that are included. And you'll see that they're small, hence the different version. But next month, they'll release more stuff. I'll have detailed videos, tutorials. Check out my other videos. You'll see some stuff anyways for Power BI. But for this, uh, they're, they're, we'll talk through the update. So Copilot and AI, ad hoc calculation support for data questions now available in read mode. Uh, so again, this isn't really an update because last month they announced the addition of our ad hoc calculation support. Check out the video from last month as well. Uh, this is just kind of fluff, restating the same thing in my opinion. That's why they're even saying refer to last month's release. So nothing there. Reporting. Uh, all they're saying here is, well, in January, they announced an option to have a new file picker experience, which I like. Uh, it's a nice experience. It cleans up the menus, but that was released in January. All they're saying now is that it's gonna be turned on by default. So you'll notice some new file picking options. When you go to open a file, you'll see it. Uh, same with mobile layout, uh, auto create. It's generally available. So previously this was there. Uh, you could switch to it in Power BI Desktop. Now it's generally available. Uh, again, this isn't any new update. It's the same kind of stuff that's been there, but they put it here. And so my job is to tell you what they're reporting to us. But that's all the reporting, all the AI, all the AI updates. Finally, for modeling, uh, they allow the same kind of thing with live edit of semantic models in direct link mode with Power BI Desktop. Uh, some slight improvements here uh, that will be reflected when you're looking at that, but ultimately, this isn't really a feature that I do because I like to edit models using Power BI Desktop, um, specifically, um, Timdall. So I do have a couple of videos on Timdall. These are important videos. It's a whole cool concept that will allow you to archive, uh, source control your content, even edit it more friendly. A couple of months ago, they released a new Timdall button. You'll see over here on the left-hand side. All this is saying, is that now before hitting apply, you can hit preview and it will show you the differences of what you're changing versus what's there. Uh, they give some examples of it here. I can even scroll in a little bit more, I think. And I'll scroll back out. Uh, but you, you get the idea. It's kind of like a source control thing. You hit preview, it will show you, oh, you changed uh, this formatting string, you've added it, dates and period, you changed from 12 to nine. Whatever the highlights are, so instead of essentially hitting apply, you hit preview, it will show it to you. If you're using Timdall Editor, uh, this is helpful for you uh, when you're going into that tab and reviewing it. And again, that's everything there. But to work with Timdall, check out some of my previous videos where I dive into that stuff. Uh, I also have a lot of videos on maps, how to use maps. And auto zooms, you know, already there. Um, but I mean, sorry, auto zoom is a good feature that automatically zooms into areas where your reference layers are plotted. So for example, it's very straightforward. And the bottom left-hand side, if you go to view, you'll see include reference layers. And it will, if you turn on auto zoom, which is already there, now you can turn on this additional thing to include reference layers. So previously it would not zoom in for reference layers, but now it does. Another small update. Uh, and now it's just prep prepping us for other Azure map tenant setting updates that are coming. And that's the whole update. That's the whole kit and caboodle. That's everything that's there. Uh, again, it's a much lighter update than usual. Um, they do talk about the Snowflake connector update. Uh, I still have had issues with this connector, so I don't recommend using it now while it's in preview mode, uh, but ignoring that. And that's the entire update. So 
for this month. It is a lighter update, but I'm going to keep you up to date with these things. So tune in for more videos, check out the content I already have, uh, and you will find a lot of things that will help you along your Power BI path. Uh, but hopefully next month, they're going to have a bigger update. And when that comes, I will give you all the content, all the information, and go through the typical review process with it. So for now, take care. Enjoy Power BI Desktop. Talk to you later. Bye.